We're at uh, Carlos Avery Wildlife Management Area. It's a 24,000 acre public hunting and recreation land in uh, Noka and Chisago counties in Minnesota. So our historical district here actually has 14 buildings on the registry. Four of those are original from 1935 when they started building the complex here. It's named after Carlos Avery, who was a McLeod County Superintendent of Schools back in the early 20s. And then he became our first commissioner of the, at the time, Department of Game and Fish, which now is named the Department of Natural Resources. Carlos Avery uh, started out back in 1933. We acquired uh, 8,500 acres from the Crex Carpet Company that was uh, going bankrupt at the time, but they made carpets out of wire grass sedge uh, that they would harvest out of the wetlands here in this area, and then take them by a rail car down to St. Paul to their factory and make rugs. In 19, 81 was the last time we raised and released birds here at Carlos Avery, so that was the end of it being a game farm. We decided back then as a department that it was, the money would be better spent if we focused on habitat, habitat restoration and acquisition of habitat and public hunting grounds. So we stopped our propagation of birds and, and releasing them. Basically they figured one out of a thousand might survive the winter, so I just working on the habitat would be more beneficial, but we did keep one pheasant pen up for historical purposes. We've worked up and acquired almost 24,000 acres at this point, with not a whole lot of acquisition left uh, because it's so built up around the area, but it's, it's a pretty good chunk of ground, and it's taken us, you know, several decades to get here. About two thirds of it is wetland, one third is upland, and that's a mix of oak and mixed hardwood forests and some upland prairie plants. But the majority again is, is wetland. Anything from seasonal wetlands that dry up in the heat of the summertime to deeper pools that we manage for wild rice and hunting and recreation in the fall. We're open for just about all of the hunting seasons that Minnesota allows. We have 22 miles of interior gravel roads that can be driven for an access for public recreation. Uh, we have everyone from anglers coming in certain times of the year. It's a major destination for a lot of bird watchers in the state of Minnesota, especially in, during spring and fall migration. And then starting September 1, basically we get hunting season starting up. We're also open for trapping, coming later in October here, all the way through the end of February. And then uh, spring turkey hunting as well. So nine months out of the year, we're open for various hunting seasons and in addition to other recreational opportunities as well. Yeah, I invite everyone to come out to Carlos Avery, enjoy it, uh, respect the habitat and the facilities we have. Again, we've got about 24,000 acres and a staff of four that uh, three of those get out in the field and do the work and try to keep the place as, as clean and kept up as we can. So again, enjoy, tread lightly and enjoy the outdoors. The preceding program was produced by the Anoka County Historical Society and Hennepin Technical College. You can plan a visit to the Anoka County History Center at 2135 3rd Avenue North in downtown Anoka. Help us preserve history. If you would like to donate or become a member of the Anoka County Historical Society, 
go to anokacountyhistory.org.